You can be like Ernest Thompson Seed, a naturalist, author, artist, leader, and a founder of the American Boy Scout movement. Seaton spent many years exploring the wilderness and learning all about animals, and he wrote many popular books about the subject. Ernest was a talented artist. This wolf painting of his is hanging in the Seaton Library at Philmont Scout Ranch. Seaton is a founder of the American Boy Scout movement. He's shown here with the other founders. Baden Powell is sitting and Dan Beard is on the right. He wrote the first Boy Scout handbook based on the book called The Birch Bark Roll. In Seaton's book, Two Little Savages, Yan and Sam leave the city to live in the woods as romanticized Indians. Throughout the book, Seaton's 300 illustrations show how to identify plants as well as Indian lore. You may have a local patch of woods to explore and learn about nature. In the book, Two Little Savages, the boy Yan creates a chart to help identify ducks at a distance. It inspired Roger Tory Peterson to write his first field guide to the birds. Just like Yan, you'll be able to also identify birds and other animals and plants using cell phone apps and field guides. In 1902, Seaton built a house in Connecticut. It is shown here. It was called Windigal. The local boys do not like the fact that Seaton fenced in 100 acres of the place the boys played. They vandalized his fences. Seaton had a plan. He went to the local school and asked to speak to the boys. Come out for the weekend. We will have campfires, put up teepees, learn Indian lore. Ernest Thompson Seaton wanted to offer the boys a chance to experience the outdoors in a new way. Seaton wrote, I knew something of boys. I'm much of a boy myself. Seaton and the boys spent a weekend camping, swimming, learning about nature, and storytelling. Out of this experience came the woodcraft and international scouting movements. Welcome to the Seaton Scout Naturalist Trail. As a scout naturalist, you can be like Seaton as you present your own Broad Creek nature-themed weekend. This is, a, this is a pawpaw plant, and the caterpillar of the Zegar tiger swallowtail eats it. Eats the leaves. These are edible to humans, but this one right here is rotten, so don't eat it if it looks like this. Yeah. Yeah. Right, there. <laughs> right there. Our program is supported by a website. You'll be able to download and print activities and watch informative videos on our webpage. You will also be given printed lesson plans for all the activities you will present on your future nature-themed weekend. From the Saffron headquarters, you'll be able to borrow most of the equipment you'll need to present your program. Ernest Thompson Seaton kept a journal. He recorded what he saw in his chicken scratch handwriting. He wrote down the birds he saw, one bird being a red-headed woodpecker. You will receive a journal this weekend that you will use on a solo experience. I wrote my bird observations when I was 18 years old in 1976. However, there are new ways of recording your observations. I have a YouTube website to share videos of birds found while birding. In 1907, Seaton, with his naturalist friend Edward Preble, paddled a canoe for 2,000 miles in the Canadian wilderness to study the large herds of woodland caribou there back then. He wrote about his adventures in the book Arctic Prairies. You can be like Seaton as you explore the wilderness with your scout friends on a nature-themed canoe trip in the Adirondacks. With enough interest, we may offer training on how to lead such a journey. There may be loons in your future. <laughs> Ernest Thompson Seaton was a storyteller. Here's an excerpt from a story he told that has a wolf call. He thought as he listened that he caught the faint far moan of the timber wolf. Oh. Scout naturalists learn how to lead a nature themed campfire. Or anything they got now. Woo! I went to the woods because I wish to live life deliberately confront only the essential facts of life. Welcome to the Seed and Scout Naturalist Program. We look forward to hearing your success stories on leading a naturalist adventure for your scout friends in the great out of doors. Looks like a cat staring at you or if you fold it over, Mustache. looks like a, what does it look like? Mustache. Looks like a boat, right? A canoe? No, it's not a canoe and a mustache.
It could be a mustache. I don't know. What is it? It's a tree frog. 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 It's